Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashan David and in today's video, I am going to tell you about how you can install C Lion IDE on your systems for C and C++ programming. So before we start this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So without any further ado, let's get right into the topic. First of all, you need to open your favorite browser and from there you need to search Google. And on Google, you need to search for C Lion. Download and just press enter. Here you will get the first link here. Download C Lion, a smart cross platform IDE for C and C. As soon as you click onto this, it will directly take you to this page of jetbrains.com. From here, you can just download the exe file. If you want to download the Windows setup wizard, you can just say .exe. If you manually need to install, then you can go for zip. Or if you want another exe file which supports ARM64, then you can just download for this. But I am going to use .exe, normal one. You can also go for it. Well, we are installing for Windows. So directly click on to Windows. If you are on Mac OS, then you click on to this and you select the version of that. Then you download it. Or if you are on Linux, you can just download it for Linux from here. But in this case, we are downloading for Windows. So I'm going to just click on to Windows and then I'm going to click on to download. Now you just need to wait for the download to pop up. And here you go. I am going to save this on my desktop as usual. It will take a little bit time. It's around 638 MB. So it may take time. So once it gets downloaded, I'm going to get back to you guys and I'm going to show you how you can install it. So there you go guys, this is your setup file which we have downloaded. Now this is says C Lion 20223exe. So this is the version of C Lion. This is an IDE of course, as you guys already know what is an IDE. IDE is a place where we solely do programming, where we develop programs, we write programs, we develop softwares. This is the place where you can see the output your source code and your files all at one place. This is a very popular IDE from JetBrains. Unlike how we used to use PyCharm and IntelliJ IDEA, same company has built this IDE also for C and C++. So you can easily enjoy writing codes on C, C++ on C Lion. So that is why we have downloaded it. So I'm going to double click onto that and open it. And it is going to open up this wizard. And there you go. Here. This is in the first place. I am going to click on to next. And here I'm not going to change the path for me. If you want to change your path, if you want to install the C Lion IDE somewhere else in your system, you can do that. But I am not doing it right now. For me, it is fine. I'm going to click on to next. And I am going to just click on to create desktop icon shortcut. That's it. I don't want anything extra in this. So I'm just going to click on to next. And I'm going to click on to install. So it may take time to install guys. I'll be back as soon as it gets installed. And there you go guys. It's installed now and it says completing C line setup. So I'm going to just click on to run. If you want to click on to run directly, if you want to run the software from here, you can just click on to run C line and press finish. As soon as you click on to finish, it is going to open up C line. So I'm going to do that. And there you go. It is asking me that import C line settings. I don't want to import any settings right now. So I'm just going to click on to do not import settings and click on to OK. So one thing that I would like to tell you before we go ahead into this is that this is asking me license. Now for your information, unlike any other IDE which has the community version, we have downloaded from JetBrains, PyCharm and IntelliJ, right? 
so those ides were having the proper uh, community version and the professional version but in this case see lion does not have the community version it only has the licensed version so in this case we have downloaded the normal download file and now it is just asking me the license so in this case because we don't have any license key right now so we are going to just use the trial version and i from my point of view guys it is enough for you guys for 30 days to learn about cnc plus plus programming you can just do so many things in 30 days in cnc plus plus it will be enough and after that you can go for the purchasing part if you don't like to purchase this part there is one other way that you can use this ide continuously by just changing your email addresses in your trial version and it is going to work for you as long as you want so that you can do later on but right now we will start as a trial version so i'm going to click on to start trial and i'm going to click on to log into jetbrains account so for you to start the trial version you need a jetbrains account so i'm going to click on to log into jetbrains account and it is going to open up my google chrome I'm going to click on to the sign in button and there you go. I'm going to click on to allow and then authorization successful. So you can close this page and return to the IDE. So I went here and I'm going to just click on to start trial. I'm going to click on to continue. And there you go guys this is your c lion installed on your system successfully if you want to create a new project you can just click on to new project and there you go you can just select the language and you can go ahead with either c or c plus plus so there you go guys this is how you can install c lion in your system and once it is done once your trial version starts you can use it for 30 days and 30 days from my point of view is enough for you guys to learn about C and C++. Uh, first, learn about C, learn all the basics of C here, use, do data structures as well and then you move on to C++. And if you really want to use, if you start loving this IDE and if you really want to use it for later on, one thing that you can do is that you can just change the email address and your trial will be extended for another 30 days with a new email address. So that's how you can use it as of for now. But in case in future, if there is anything, any good IDE comes better than this, I'll definitely make a video on that. And that's it. So this is it for this video guys. I hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubts, tell us in the comment section. This is Ashang David signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.